the next boss fight we're going to be fighting is going to be a dangerous one. I don't know how I feel. Oh, the, we, we're, we're, oh, we almost have it here like that. Is it like this? Yeah. It's a dangerous one. But it's an exciting one. I don't remember exactly how to do this or, or like, I don't even remember the first time we fought him in this playthrough. But I think he's going to be a little bit tougher. By the way, my name is Calvin, also known as Rumor, and this is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and this is The Return to the Sky. I'm recording in a different way today. I'm actually recording in the old way I used to record. Uh, it's, like, all reliable. The new way I was recording, for some reason, just crapped out on me. It just w would not work today. And I thought instead of just, like, trouble fix troubleshooting for a g good while, oh, there he is. I just go for it. Just record in the old way. We'll just do it. It's fine. Here he is. Such an awesome design. Well, are they, Link? I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. Link's ready. We seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. Look at these old drawings. Until I found these, I was upset about the little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled of the guide of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there, everywhere, for another gate of time. Link, you're right to be paranoid. And yet I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was all frowns all around. I love the way he plays with Link like this, but also like plays on his emotions like, you know, hey, we're friendly, aren't we, you know? Knowing that Link knows they're not friends, but like kind of just being that little bit like trying to dig the knife in a little bit deeper. The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. Like you see there, like you see what I mean? Like the way he's talking, like if someone was ta said this like with a happier tone with less devious mu music in the background, it mightn't sound too bad. But well, you can tell just like from everything, this guy is just not bullshitting, but he's been really, really devious. But then, then I found this place. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> the prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. And Link's so good in this scene too. That girl, your adorable friend, she'll be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we meet, we met, I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? It was a fantastic line. Well, I've been thinking, perhaps corporate punishment is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you'll strike a deal. I love Graham. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't play coy with me. I know that you know. So why not let me in on the fun? Link's not going to tell you at all. Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. That's... Oh, I... I love... Graham so much. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any armor. Doesn't this shape just leave you... breathless? Behold! Such beauty! Such a pure form! Such an exquisite physique! Such stunning features. Yes, I've pretty much got it all. Though there is one teensy tiny thing I lack. <laughs> Namely, Mercy. He's so fucking great. Come to me, Link. You and I were bound by the thread of fate. Destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle. And the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked in the crimson of your blood. By the way, no villain in the history of Zelda. Since then, 
or before then, and I don't care what anyone says, has, has been this well written, has this much character, this much design, none. 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 I'm sorry. Like, you could, you could argue Zant, you could argue Zant, but I don't think Zant was even nearly, like, as developed as Garrett Graham is. Graham feels like a true antagonist, always, always on our tail. And that's no insult to any other villain in Zelda. I'm sorry for keeping it on this frame, but that's no in insult to any other villain in Zelda, because you know I love my Zelda. I love Zelda. But there's just something so special about Graham. Like, something so great. And I wonder if they're ever going to get a villain like him again. Because here's the thing, he's not, like, he's not flamboyant, like, just for the sake of it, just for a funny character trait. Like, this guy loves himself. This guy prides himself in not only looking good, but, like, how... His physique looks good, how his arms are looking good, how he looks while fighting. Everything is about looking good. Guys, I'm just gonna get into it. I I, I probably would rant for a while about how much I freaking love this guy. Let's try our best to defeat him. So this is the same thing again. Just banging him away. And again, I'm gonna make a few mistakes. But it's good that I practice now. See, I don't... I never get the, like, the the, the push otherwise there. So we can push push down. See, like, I get, like, uh, the, the, the flick of the wrist, I totally get. Like, but I don't, I never get how to, like, exactly, because the thing is, like, I remember when I got to the boss rush, I was doing this, oh god. I was doing this, like, fine. I was, like, doing this perfectly. Like, how are we, oh my god. I'm taking off my hat. <laughs> Please, Grave, just let me beat you. Because, like, I know that it's, like, about, there we go, there we go. Point your, point your fucking finger down, Graham. What, Graham? <laughs> Like, what am I doing wrong here that, like, oh, he's like little kunais. Like, clearly you have to, like, swipe up, right? Oh, I forgot we don't have to move around. My bad. Oh my god, yes, I forgot we don't have to move. Why was I always moving around? <laughs> I forgot that you could just stand here. This is fantastic. Oh my god, this is it! <laughs> I was like, why am I doing so bad? Of course, I was like, not fighting in the real- Okay, there we go. He caught us there, he was getting a little bit faster there. So now we can go slash across here. Like, it, it works now because it just works. Oh, so here we are, now he has two swords. I think, I, if I remember correctly, we have to wait for him to do, like, the little charge move. And then we can see what we do, he does from there. We need to, like... Okay, yeah, okay, I forgot about that. We need to, like, jump out of the way when he does that again. That's one of the main things. Aha! You thought you got me. Oh, look, he licks the sword. Just taunting us. Because at this point... Oh, shit, above. At this point, Graham knows, right? Graham knows that he's, like, more powerful than us. At least in this state. Oh, we, we could have gotten him there like that, could we? Shit, Graham, stop it for two seconds. It's okay, though. No, the other way. The other way, Link, please. Oh, my God. Which way are you gonna hold your swords? Like that? Let me just do it like that, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Okay, I forgot about this part. Because again, it's, it's different from... Again, it's the difference in the flick of a wrist, guys. It really is. Wait, why didn't I get him there? This is really pitiful. Oh, it's the cross. That slant, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we can hit him more there as well. Um, so he's gonna go... Cross like that. Cross like that again. Down. Okay. Fair enough, Graham. I keep forgetting we probably could hit him a little bit more there. Can we? No, he, 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 knows, he knows how to jump back. There we go. That's, that's, that's the damage. That's the real damage. That's the real damage. Took a bit of time. But we're getting the hang of it now. To me, it's all about, like, like again, I know I shouldn't be thinking of it like this. But I'm just thinking, like, how can I... Oh, yeah, I, I, I was late there. How can I get this for the boss rush? How can I practice this for the boss rush? And I think we're doing a good job now. Because all it takes is, like, a little bit of time. Is he gonna do his jump? Oh, he was—he was getting ready to do something. Like we're avoiding those hits now. Good, good enough. And you can tell there is a there, there is a tinge of frustration. Oh shit. Again, like I, as I was saying there, like the, the moves that he's doing, the difference is from. Okay, that was bad. The difference for me is like a flick of the wrist, right? Oh shit, like right there. Like it's the difference between not flicking your wrist and flicking your wrist. So he's just. He seems to be giving up on doing the whole sword trick. Oh no, no he hasn't. We just have to goad him into jumping again. That's what we have to do. I know there's a way to do this. Shit. We're, we're, I mean, we're hitting him. We're hitting him, but like again, we need, if we want to beat this guy again, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do way better than this. Oh, here we go. So, up like that. Across. Barely. Cross again. Graham, help me! Die! Graham! Oh, Graham, that was cheap. Oh, shit. Ah, Graham, I was drinking my drink. Graham, I was drinking my drink. Come on, man. I forgot I didn't have a fairy on me. Okay, we got him, but that was not good. Like, I didn't do good. I have nothing to this foolishness. I am Graham, Demon Lord. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is, you are still nothing. Not just a human. A human child. And yet you prevail. See, the real him is coming out now. And... The real him, like, actually did see us as a threat. Not, like, I think Graham, more than anything, didn't want to see us as a threat. Like, against every single part of his being, wanted us to see us. Just as he said there, a human child. He didn't think of us as a threat. He probably did think we were a threat, but in himself, he was telling himself we're not. You filthy scamp, you've awakened a wrath that will burn for eons, I swear to you. Whatever it takes, I will drag you into eternity of torment. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not happy with that boss battle. I'll just be honest, like, again, like, it's okay to, to like, to not, to, like, again, it's just a game. It's just a game. But at the same time, I feel like I could have done way better. Especially for, like, a, a character I've already fought. But then again, it was different mechanics. It has been a while. It's been three years since I fought him in this, fought this fight. So maybe I shouldn't be too hard on myself, but um, I feel like it's a learning experience. I feel like the next time we fight him in the boss rush, it's, it's not even going to be 
like, it's not even gonna be nearly close to this. Because I remember, like, in the boss rush, if you remember, we got him down to, like, beating him in, like, a minute. Like, it wasn't even anything anymore. And here we go. Yet another Skyward Strike. Which means we're getting more flames! The red flame looks really good. We fully upgraded our sword as well, right? We're done. But that doesn't mean we're done with this game. Goodbye, coolest looking sword in the game. And hello! Still a cool looking sword, the flames of Din have imbued your, bl imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. And that's also, is that the first reference we got of Graham calling himself a demon lord? That must ring through in our ears as well, but I guess this is the first time we fought a demon lord. Technically this is the first time Link has ever fought a demon lord. Link showing off a bit for Fi, well done. But I believe that's actually a thing, by the way. After you get a new sword, like you try it out a bit, you like swing it around a bit just to see what it's like. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the master sword. With the sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sealed temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Sure. Sure, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I just continue and continue and continue to freaking love the- Oh, we're coming in fast. Again, my favorite type of characters, and I said it before, that my favorite type of characters are characters who say one thing, but deep down they mean another. Or they say one thing and do another. And Graham is definitely that. For, okay, for the people that are probably getting annoyed right now, I'll call him Graham. For Graham, oh look what, look what fucking Groose made. Is this what Groose made? <laughs> look at this shit. Um, he's a character who continues to call Link nothing. Because he wants to believe that, you know? He wants to truly believe that Link is nothing. But again, he knows deep down that he isn't. He knows deep down that he has to face up to the fact that Link is a fucking badass at this point. You know, it's kind of like the visualization thing, you know, when you, you before you take a test, and you say like, this test is nothing. This test is nothing. This test is nothing. Well, before we fight with Link, he says, Link, Link's a boy. He's a child. He's a child. I can do this. He's a child. Behind all that beautiful confidence, that awesome style, that awesome physique, and that amazing hair, there is maybe a little child himself. I should have talked to Groose first. Ah, your sword! There can be no doubt the sacred flame has purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you and the sword you carry. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with the skyward strike and it will surely awaken. Climb up on the pedestal and show the gate your sword. The gate 
and showed the gate your sword's power. Sorry, I got mixed up there. The sergeant Grizz, how you doing, Bruce? Yo, Link, I saw the rail track I put up outside. Yeah, what's it for? Huh, duh. Oh, you'll see before long. Duh is an underrated insult. More people should use it. Here we go. Oh, we just have to show him. Okay, yeah, something's arising. No, I fear the seal has given away once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given up by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> All right, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to bring out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. Bruce, the last time we saw him, was on the brink of just giving up on everything. A couple of days with um, Granny here. Happy as hell. Because <laughs> he knows he's worried. He is. He's not useless at all. He just kind of like based his whole entire goddamn life on one person. Hey, Link. Yeah. Duh. Try not to drool on your shirt. You stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it. The Grusinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the, uh, the area out of the way, then laid down the rails for him to run on. All by myself, of course. <clears throat> I don't know what came over me. I had no clue. I had the talent to make something like this, you know. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know. Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurting on the ugly monster. So Gruz is really helpful here. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of the big bombs to the body. Hang on though, that monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before I should go. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna adjust his stuff. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. So same as before. Um, is it is it already coming out of the ground? Right there, that was skill. That was pure skill. Do you see that? What? This is what you call it. This is speed running. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly not. Let's go talk to this beast. Groose is one of my favorite characters, but I think we have to focus on this right now. For sure. I get a little bit talkative when I have to talk about Skyward Sword, because I love this game so much. Oh, there he is, Scaly McDermott. With his goddamn paws. Get your paws out of here, Scaly. The imprisoned. Okay, we can do this. So, I was. Look at that. Seems like our ugly friend grew up a pair of hands. <laughs> Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to stop it. Thanks so much, Groose. You're so beautiful and. Oh shit. Help! 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 Go! 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 Okay, no, it's not going. Okay, let's go over here instead. Can we walk under you, sir? Thank you. Okay, let's let's do what we always do. Try to take over the world. I love it. Where is it? Okay, where is it coming up? It's coming up over here. Oh, it's already doing its thing! Grusy baby! Grusy baby! Grusy baby, we need your help! Grusy baby! You ready? Okay, we're ready. Yeah, okay, I got this, I got this. Uh, so... I'm just gonna go up this way for a second. Just so we can get, just so we can get a head start and do this. Okay, let's do it. You can do it, Groose. You can do it. Yeah, I know, I know how to do this, Groose. Oh, no, I, sh I shouldn't say that, because, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurry along the tutorial. It's just that, like... Like, it's just that, like, you know... I've played this game, uh, like, before, and I kind of know how to play the game at this point. Huh, she packs a mean punch, doesn't she? I'll tell you, I was in love with the first time I pulled this lever. I'll start loading her back up with another bomb, so keep beating on that ugly thing until I give you the signal. Thanks so much, Gro Groose. How cool is Skyward Sword? The fact that... 
Like, at the start of the game, you meet Groose. Never would I ever have thought, when I first played Skyward Sword, that we'd be playing with Groose. And by that, I mean that we'd be working together with Groose. And, like, I, I feel like sometimes I can get, like, people can, like, take me the wrong way when I'm talking about Skyward Sword. Like, I'm disregarding Twilight Princess or Wind Waker. Like, I'm not. Like, I'm not trying to do that. Like, two, two, another two of my favorite games ever. Like, there's great character development in both those games. There's great characters in both those games. But that doesn't mean that I can't just love the characters in this game more. Like, holy shit, like, an amazing, what an amazing character Minna is, you know? What an, owie! You know what I mean? Like, what an amazing character Tetra is. But I suppose certain games just resonate. Like, I always have the conversation with people even on Twitter, where people are like, when I say, like, oh, Skyward Sword's a... Oh god, he's coming up fast. Well, actually, you know what we could actually do? We could actually just go up here right now and get him from here. No need to wait for him to pass. Oh shit, we are high up. We are high octane, my friends. Well, he's gonna try and get up here. We have to stop him. He's gonna get his big freaking head out again. You, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna poke you? I know, Bruce. I know. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, that is bad. Oh, no, I actually... Oh, God, he almost knocked us all the way off. Oh, that was, that was, that was, that was an improper jump from my part. I know, Grucy baby. I know. I'm coming. I don't know why I'm calling him Grucy baby. Did he call himself Grucy baby at one point? No, he definitely didn't. That doesn't sound like Grucy at all. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, do we have to, like... Is this what we have to do? Like, cause, cause he wasn't stopping. Like, I think, I think, okay, it wasn't an improper jump then. Oh no, you, you serious? Let me up, let me up. Thank you so much. Cause he was moving. What was that? What was that? Did that actually happen? Oh, it's not letting us jump up here. Oh, this is bad. Can I just get past you there, B Bubba? Please. Do I have to actually like just like let you walk ahead of me for a bit? Is that what has to happen? Because I don't want to do that. Maybe that'll tell you to F off. Oh god. A little bit more stressful this time around, like being honest. Uh. We still got him though. We still got we still we were still able to hit him. Okay, we got him. We got him. Teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork is gruesome link work. It's one of the most fun revisits, right, for a fight. Because, like, the thing is, like, I feel like that's why another reason why I love Skyward Sword so much is because they let you revisit old fights, but each time the f each fight adds another new element to it. Ah. This is gorgeous and horrifying at the same time, right? I think once and for all, though, after we're finished, yeah, we're go I'm going down. Strike the ceiling spike with the skyward strike and restore the shield quickly, boy. Um, I think what I'm gonna have to do, um, when this is all over, I'm just gonna have to finally just make, like, a full-on, like... 30 minute review of this game. <laughs> Not that I'd be any good at reviewing stuff, but I just like to try. I did I did a poke strike there. Oh, we have to do this. Fun. It's like an hourglass. 
turned on the, its side. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me. But no need to thank Groose. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get that gated time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. So the reason why he was shaking us off is because we if he wasn't shaking us off, he could have literally just... We could have literally beaten the Imprisoned by ourselves, and then the whole teamwork of Groose wouldn't have worked. I feel like this moment for Groose is also a big moment for his character and his story. So really, we'd, we would have just been negating a lot of Groose's character development. <laughs> like, he, he comes out to try and help us. Because, like, you know, like, if, if, he, if we didn't let him help us, I feel like he would go back to being sad Groose. Which I would never want. I like happy Groose the most. Happy Groose is the best Groose. Say it again with me. But again, as I was saying before, he kind of, like, base his whole life on one character on Zelda, which isn't a bad person to base your life off, like, just being honest. But you gotta focus on yourself as well. You gotta be kind to yourself, man. It seems you were successful in imprisoning in prison the monster again. You have my thanks, Link. And Groose. As do you, Groose. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you hadn't been here. <laughs> uh, uh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could do to help. <laughs> I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Link, you must wonder what, uh, just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I can tell you, but suffice to say, it is the root of uh, the evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it at the source, or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate of, with the Skyward Strike. Come on already, charge that sword of yours and get that sacred force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time! Right on, Granny. <laughs> Indeed. Now, <laughs> like, go to the gate. Uh, I bet you Zelda's just on the other side of the gate wondering where you are. You shouldn't make the little lady wait. That makes me emotional. <laughs> this idea that Groose is now like talking about Link and Zelda rather than him and Zelda. It's very sweet. He hasn't stopped caring, he just realized who Zelda probably wants to see the most. <laughs> 